What's or going on, everybody? Phrases, Hold up. Or, um, dealing with Darren. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Lady Nika. Um, I'm in with a reply video, sort of. Um, tonight, part two of the interview that my brother Sean Bradley and he had an interview part two with Damon Wayne. He's the young man who has accused Darren, um, Lisa, uh, Lisa Nicole, what her name? Cloud, Lisa Nicole Cloud. That that is her husband, and this guy has um, come on and and basically kind of outed Darren. Um, I watched both interviews. Some of my questions were added into, you know, the topic of conversations. And I just wanted to do a small reply back to, or maybe you can add this as an add-on to just my opinions about this subject. First and foremost, let me start off by saying, None of us can really say what this young man is saying is true or not. All we can do is formulate our opinions based on what we hear. I can understand how a lot of people would want to say that what this guy is saying is absolute ludicrous and that he had ulterior motives. However, looking at the bigger picture of it all, I hear what everybody's saying, but opinions are like assholes. We all got one, so since I have a platform, I'm going to stay mine. My opinion is that this relationship, this boy is not lying. I'm sorry I call him a boy. He He's a grown man, but, you know, I'm, I'm an old bitch, so, uh, you know, that's why I said it like that. But it's no disrespect to him because he's a man. But I think that I cannot in good conscience totally discredit what this young man is saying simply because I wasn't there and neither, you know, no one else was there. It's only two people who were actually there when the the affair was ongoing now on the second part of the interview tonight he said that there were a host of others who knew about this situation okay that's fine i can believe that i'm not even like i said i'm not here to discredit what he's saying at all i don't i don't think that he's lying i do believe he had a sexual relationship with darren however i do feel like i stated in my previous video that he somehow caught feelings for this uh darren and in catching feelings with him they got into an argument, kind of a heated one, and that would cause the dissolve, you know, the, that dissolved the relationship. Now, what I think happened was, and these are just my opinions before you want to get down in the comments and, you know, be disrespectful to me. Just know that these are not my, these, th what I'm saying is not written in stone. This is just what I think, and I'm voicing what I think. Now, what I think is, again, he's not lying. I think he did have a relationship with Darren. I do believe that he caught feelings inside of this relationship. I don't think that he outed him to hurt, you know, to make Lisa leave. Like I told y'all, when, when you're in a marriage with somebody, I don't give a damn how controlling, you know, as we learned if you watched the video tonight. I don't care how... You know how much a person is controlling in a relationship. I do believe that you know for y'all to stay together, it's some feelings involved. And I, what I'm believing that happened in this situation, and like I can't before I say this, these are just my opinions based off of what I saw. I don't discredit their Damon. I believe he had a relationship. I believe it went exactly like he said. What I am on the fence about is. Why he chose now to say something. I, I just don't, I really don't understand that. You At one moment in the interview, I recall him saying that um, he, he wasn't, first of all, he wasn't friends with us, so that's one thing for certain. I do, I don't remember him saying he ever wanted no job with her, or maybe he did. I don't know, y'all. All I'm saying is, I feel like this young man is not telling a lie. And the reason why is because y'all know that a lie, you will, he wouldn't have been able to come back unless he was reading it or got total recall like that and say damn near the same thing, part one and part two. So he sold me on the fact that a relationship did occur, a trist, whatever you want to call it, a fail, it happened. My thing is, I can't understand and in good conscience be here for a man who without him when you know and say that you just wanted to clear your conscience you right he was right when he stated that no one can really decide for him 
how far he needs to go to do so. He said that, you know, even though he told his priest at his church, you know, in a confessional about what he did, maybe it was something deeper down inside of him that made him want to, you know, take it further and tell Lisa what happened. I think by Lisa not talking with this young man when he first made initial att the initial attempt to talk to him, that he, he chose any avenue that he could. And I'm going to tell you something that I learned today by talking to my brother and talking to my daughter who are both in the LGBT community. I learned today that when you get a gay person upset, the gloves come off. And when the gloves come off, they say and do whatever it takes to get their point across. Just like Sean has stated in the video, in the actual review for Married to Medicine about Quad having a gay spirit, I can understand that because even my daughter, she's cool, calm, and collected, but the minute you get her started, she she don't have she don't have no fucks to give y'all. That's how they are. When you stir the pot long enough and get them upset, they are going to respond to you accordingly. And whereas we may chill out and leave it alone, they're not finna do that. They're gonna go full steam ahead. It's just like Sean always say, you you stirred the dragon, now you got to deal with the funky breath. And that's all that I see to just being. Yes, I feel like a part of it is also that he caught feelings and he probably want to hurt Lisa a little bit. I can't see no reason why he wouldn't want, I mean, she's not his friend. And not for nothing, even though he knew the rules of the game, he did catch feelings and it was beyond just the friendship again let me set this disclaimer this is just my opinions i don't know the only thing that he sold me on for certain is that he did have a relationship with darren also i can't really get mad at him when he said he it's not his position or his job to have to worry about their children he right now, y'all get mad about that shit because he's gay and he's saying that. But think about it, y'all. In heterosexual relationships, when the man go out and cheat on his woman, do that side bitch want to give a fuck about, and I'm not calling him a bitch, I'm saying the side bitch to a man. Do that side bitch give a fuck about she destroying the relationship or he that they, you know, she's tearing up a family? They don't care. You can't look at this situation as a person who is in a committed relationship. Clearly, that ain't what Lisa Nicole and Darren have. They not committed. She might be, but I don't think he is. Because by her own admittance, this man is a cheater. It don't matter that he cheated with a gay man. He's a cheater. In, in, in 2015, really in the last, I'll say 2000, since 2010 that I'm aware of, child, it don't matter if it's girl or, or boy, it's, it's still a cheater. People are getting so upset because he's a gay man and this is, this is saying that Darren had a bisexual relationship. Well, Diane, Darren is bisexual and he engaged into this relationship with Damien, with Damon, I think that's his name. But, you can't look at it like that. Just being real and being honest. A, I believe his story. B, I don't believe the part that it was done, you know, to tell her to cleanse him. I think that he did it out of spite. He knew. He didn't do it to make her leave him because he knew that wasn't going to happen. He did it to hurt her because he probably felt some kind of way. What she should have done was entertain the conversation with him and maybe none of us on YouTube would be knowing about this and none of us in the regular world would know about it because he outed him on national TV. That was wrong. I do feel like that was wrong. You shouldn't have did that on national TV, but you explained that that was your only course of action and it's not, you know... It's something you needed to do. Uh, oftentimes in life, people, we there are things that we feel that must be done, and other people are not in agreement with that. But you have to dance to the beat of your own drum, and that's simply what he did. I feel like Darren, Damon, Wayne, Wayne spoke his truth. I feel like he's standing tall in his truth. And until we hear something from Lisa Nicole and her husband, we can't do nothing but just really just sit here and wait on the results, if any results are to come. But people are so quick to discredit pe uh, folks when they tell the truth about something. A, because they either gay or lesbian, or they pissed off about the how the shit went 
the how the situation went down. All of us women at some point in time may have experienced or may experience this very same thing. Not necessarily with our husband or boyfriends cheating on us with another guy, but cheating does happen. And in saying that, I feel like this relationship did go on. This relate this affair went on. I believe every word he said up until he said he didn't do it on spite. It was a spiteful move. It was a very hateful thing to do. But if that is what he felt he needed to do, we can only render our opinions. It's already been done. Ain't nothing nobody can do. And honestly, I do feel like this this guy could should have, you know, maybe he didn't have to do it like that. But I, I'm not going to sit here and discredit him because I wasn't there and I don't know the story. All I know is his part of the story. And y'all know in any situation, it's three sides to every story. It's his side, and in this case, their side, and the truth. And from what I heard from his side of the story, he, he being forthcoming and truthful. That's just my opinion. Now, you can't get mad at the young man because... He felt he had to do this. This is what he chose to do. He did say that he made several other attempts to try to talk to Lisa. And she, you know, pretty much didn't want to be bothered with him. She ignored him. So he felt he needed to tell his truth. So he told it to Quad. But he said if anybody else would have been having an event, he would have still came up to them and told them that because he is trying to get his story told. Is he right? Who am I to judge? I wouldn't have did it, none of this, including the affair. But that's just what I'm saying. It's not written in stone. And it's not to offend anybody. But you can't get mad at me because I agree. I, I believe this young man is telling me the truth. I don't care what your life experiences have been. My life experiences tell me that don't be so quick to judge. That's what my life experiences have told me. You may have handled a situation one way. He could be handling it a whole total, totally different reason, a uh, different way, and for different reasons. We can't. None of us can do anything but accept what the young man has said. You can criticize him all you want, but at the end of the day, it didn't stop the situation from happening. He told it. Okay. Secondly, once again, for y'all that's still saying Quad got something to do with this, I mean, that, that's the only reason why you feel like Quad had something to do with this is you probably didn't like Quad in the first place. Now, I didn't I didn't care for the character that she plays on this show, but Quad don't never start nothing with nobody. She only cut up after you done pushed her and poked her, and people can't handle it. Don't step on people's toes unless you're willing to go to toe with them, for real. And that's what Lisa Nicole is learning right now. She instigated all of this mess. Her husband, Darren, who is the center of all this shit, warned her. Told her don't do that. I'm not knocking Quad for getting a background check if that's what she wanted to do. The mess came in when she came back and, and tried to call herself letting uh, Quad know she done that. And the things that she had found out, uh, i.e. that relationship that she's saying that Quad and Mariah had. Y'all think that's right? That shit ain't right for her to come and say no shit like that. That's defamation of character too. Because you sitting up saying this woman had a lesbian relationship with a fucking friend. And are you kidding me? You Y'all really can see here and tell me that, that that that's okay to you for real we got a, we got a serious problem if y'all really believe that Quad did not know he said on part one and part two that this woman had no knowledge of what he was going to walk up to her and say i believe that because if he had been if this was something that Quad planned why they didn't mic him up they put the boom over his head. Y'all know these reality networks, Bravo, VH1, all of them. They live for this shit. This is called good ratings. If they knew that he was really going to walk up to Quad and tell her the things that he said, child, they would have had a mic on that motherfucker and not that small caption at the bottom so we'd know what he was saying. I believe this was spur of the moment. This is what he chose to do because he felt like he needed to tell his story. He is not responsible to, I mean, morally, you would think he would care that I'm fucking up. You know, I don't need to be messed with this man. This could affect his whole family life. But other than being a moral 
indiscretion. What is really, I mean, what what y'all expect? Y'all expect him to be really caring about these kids. When we, like I said, heterosexuals, when that man cheat on you with that woman, she don't give two fucks about she could be hurting the wife or destroying the children. She could care less. All she want is the dick and whatever benefits that come with giving up the puss to this dick. That's what they care about. They don't care about how many times have we read stories, heard stories, or know people who have been in relationships, marriages, and this woman cheat, you know, your husband cheat on you, and the woman don't give two fucks. That's not her job to care. Morally, y'all, we are supposed to care. But they don't, they don't really be caring. And why should they care? That's not what they doing. They they here for the sex, honey, and whatever benefits that come with that. They not here to play God over or 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 you know be some voice of you know some voice of reason about what's going on in their house. They worried about themselves. It's a me, myself, and I. I don't have nothing else to say about this situation. I'm going to keep listening and I'm going to keep watching because I want to know. But as far as me making any more videos, I won't be making no more uh, videos about this because I don't feel like it, no, no more videos are necessary. But I did want to support my brother Sean Bradley in what he was doing and render my opinion since some of the questions that I had he did ask the young man and he answered. Now on to some Kiki. Child, I died when he said that Darren was a good boy. I hollered up in this whole yes. Baby, you'd be surprised of the key that you found out. And oh, before I get to Kiki in about this shit, the boy did tell us he got some receipts. And baby, if what he on it, him, Darren, Lisa Nicole, and all the hoes that Darren the bitch cheating with would know where his birthmark is. So, I believe he got receipts. I think he probably could pull out even more if it need be. But I, I believe him when he said, because y'all know Lisa quick to want to call in some lawyers or something. She feel like she got a leg to stand on. This bitch don't want no problem with this boy because it looked like from, to me, he's willing to stand in his word while he walking his talk. And neither one of us can really judge. We can only render our opinions. But our opinions are just like our assholes. Every single one of us got one and with that being said that's how i feel about the situation i do hope that damon you know i wish him the best in his future endeavors i hope that very soon this can be a distant memory and if anything positive can come out of this for him or any other parties involved i wish that for them all um please like comment subscribe and i will see you guys on the next video which will be tomorrow Peace.